Hello everybody and welcome back to Screen Stars and welcome to the new setup. Yes, I thought we needed a change here on the channel. I've had a swap around and we've got something a little bit more interesting behind me to have a look at while I do my reviews. So I'm really, really pleased. Uh, there's a couple of other design things I'm going to add in here and there, change it up now and again. But I'm really pleased with the results. Now, I will be delighted to tell you that the first review with the new setup behind me was for a fantastically entertaining uh, film that I can wholeheartedly recommend however unfortunately I can't do that guys because what we have here unfortunately is um, a movie called Along Came the Devil also known as Tell Me Your Name a 2018 demon possession type horror movie that is directed by Jason Devan um, and stars Bruce Davison, Jessica Barth and Sidney Sweeney and it focuses on um, a teenage girl who after a pretty confusing and convoluted start to the movie that's full of written exposition and a bit pretty poor opening um, we're introduced to Ashley, this young teenage girl who's moved in with her aunt because her, uh, her mother is no longer around. But immediately, there's like a dark presence that's following her. She's complaining of her bed shaking and she's hearing voices and you're seeing all these shadows following and around and stuff. And there's clearly some connection between her having a dark past and her mother having a dark past. Um, it continues to escalate as it does in these types of movies um, get, does get actually pretty spooky at times and some of the visuals are pretty frightening um, and then eventually this demon takes hold of her and it then becomes a fight for her soul and the local priests get involved one of them being Bruce Davison and it, it basically by the end turns into a cheap exorcist clone unfortunately now it's not all bad with this movie I'll be honest guys there are some positive things the central performance from Sydney Sweeney is very impressive I have to say I think she does a very very good job um, and gives uh, a very good performance at times and everybody else is pretty competent in the movie it's well made it's got a good production budget behind it um, and you know there are some genuinely frightening visuals going on and a couple of impressive scares um, what lets this movie down is the fact that I think at times it's it, it, it's poorly edited so there are there's some characters in the movie that have fractured plot lines in the sense of they seem you, you think like they're gonna have big parts in the movie and then that's it you don't see them again something will happen um, and that's it they're out of the movie you don't see them anymore um, and there's other characters that turn up in the movie that seemingly have a large role at one point um, that you don't know how they got involved in the movie there's a scene with a doctor near the end that you meet him when she has to take um, Ashley to the emergency room and you meet this doctor and then the next time you meet him he's at church with them and then he turns up the house treating her at home having and it's like it turns into this tiny part just a huge part it's like there's a whole chunk of the movie missing where it, it, it involved him much deeper um, so it's really poorly edited there's some terrible exposition scenes I mean the movie basically starts with an awful written exposition scene setting up the scene um, that doesn't make any sense um the ending was poor the ending was just like i said it turns into an a, a, an exorcist clone almost scene for scene at one point she's tied to the bed she's swearing and saying controversial things to these two priests one old one young um and i think they must have realized oh this is a bit exorcist this we better change it up so the end they take they take her to the church um but then it just turns into this farce 
Um, her best friend in the movie, her childhood friend, when she goes back to the town, seeks her out and they get Pally and everything. And and conveniently, she's into all this supernatural stuff and she's got these apps on her phones that can hear supernatural voices. And it's another avenue to get spooky stuff to happen in the movie, basically. So it's this film has a lot of promise and some impressive stuff going on that's let down i think at times it's been it's been poorly constructed poorly edited um and the storytelling and, nar uh, and narration throughout the movie is just it's sewn together really badly the, it, it feels when you watch it like there's a good film here screaming to get out scratching to get out because there are times in this movie I was genuinely unnerved by some of the imagery and scenes that I was seeing and it was genuinely frightening at times and this was when the demon was pursuing her and the effects as well for this demon you, you we could see it but she couldn't um, and they were it was genuinely disturbing and unnerving and frightening when this demon was pursuing her and then the second it got hold of her it this film turned into an exorcist clone and a bad and a poor one at that one of the worst i've seen for a long time in regards to that it lost its identity it's lost its originality it lost anything that made it different um and it's it, it's such a shame um they must have thought when they wrote this that having two priests one elderly grizzled veteran and one young you know did someone say to them mm, guys everyone's going to compare this to exorcist if you do this bizarre decisions going on in this movie but there are some decent stuff it there is some decent stuff in here some good effects good visuals it is well made it's well acted it's just really poorly constructed edited written um and directed at times and it turns into unfortunately guys a poor exorcist clone so it's a five out of ten for me guys i wasn't overly impressed with this one but if you like demon possession movies there might be something in here for you to enjoy so thank you once again for watching everyone